The race for creating the next generation fighter jet has already begun, and air superiority will be rewarded to cutting edge technology and automation. So let's take a look at some of the latest developments. Beginning at number 7, the FAXX. The United States Air Force and Navy have already begun preliminary planning for 6th generation fighters. The FAXX is far from being developed, but since it's a 6th generation, it's probably going to incorporate cutting edge stealth technology and super cruise ability. It will likely carry energy directed weapons as laser tech is only getting smaller, and even though this is very much still on the drawing board, the fighter jet may also carry hypersonic weapons. And that's only if scramjet technology can improve. Ultimately, the FAXX will replace the aging F-18 Super Hornet in the late 2020s, so there should be some pretty exciting developments coming soon with this jet. Reaching number 6, we look at the Dassault FCAS. The next generation fighter will replace multiple combat aircraft from Europe, and it's being developed by Dassault Aviation and Airbus Defense. A full model already exists, and it depicts a sleek design with the intention of being fully stealth. The aircraft will also be quite large with a 46 foot wingspan, allowing it to incorporate two hefty weapon bays. The weapons will include air to ground, air to air, and even air to ship. Another notable feature is that it will house an entirely new engine. Not too much is known about this engine, but there should be more news in the next couple of years. Reaching number 5, and it's going to be released around the same time as the last jet, and it's the Tempest. The UK has their own ideas outside of Europe's next generation fighter. With a program topping $2 billion, the Tempest will enter service around 2035 and replace the Eurofighter Typhoon. Now, this jet fighter was recently announced, so not too much is known about it just yet. But it will likely be able to fly unmanned and use swarming technology in order to control nearby drones. Once again, it will likely carry energy directed weapons along with the latest missile technology. We get to number 4 and it's going to be more for global applications and it's the Boeing Windman drone. The Wingman will accompany other craft, flying in formation and providing defensive capabilities. Now this new concept looks a little bit different from conventional UAVs, and it will carry advanced electronic warfare systems for intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance missions. It is a moderate sized drone at 38 feet long, and it has a range of 3600 kilometers. Now the Wingman is being designed outside of the US for global customers, with Australia being the front runner of the program. It will probably not be the most advanced drone in the next decade, but it will certainly be a cost-effective and feasible UAV. We reach number 3, the S-70. Inheriting the latest AI, along with the ability to overcome human-inhibited factors, it is becoming quite apparent that unmanned air vehicles will play a huge part in air superiority, maybe even taking it over entirely. That is why many countries are leading to UAV tech. The S-70 is a part of this group, and it's been under development from Russia for over a decade. Now, it only has a top speed of 1000 km per hour, so it's clearly not the fastest drone out there, but it does have an adequate range of 6000 K. The UAV can carry up to 2000 kg, and will likely serve as a wingman to manned aircraft. We reach number 2 and it's the XQ Valkyrie. The Kratos drone is a part of a wider Air Force effort to acquire fast, stealthy armed drones that can fly alongside manned fighters. So once again, it's intended to be used as a wingman drone. Already in a prototype phase, the craft will be capable of light strikes through guided munitions. It can carry over 200 kilograms of payload and to cruise up to Mach 0.8, which is pretty typical for drones. So it's a bit smaller than your average UAV with a wingspan of 22 feet and it will be used in swarming attacks. Now the Kratos is already in a prototype phase and it will be in operation in just a few years. We look at one of the more developed UAVs that's probably going to come out in just a few years and it's the Dassault Neuron. With over 150 flights under its wing, the Neuron will be the next generation lethal stealth drone. The Neuron is a pan-European collaborative project, and it will be capable of carrying around 2000 kilograms of payload up to Mach 0.8, making it to be one of the deadliest UAV strikers. As of right now, there are still being tests being done on the aircraft, in relation to detection, localization and reconnaissance of ground targets in autonomous mode. But once completed, the Neuron will be one of the most advanced and developed UAVs from Europe. Now, this is a really interesting topic to me because sometime in the future, UAVs are probably going to take over all manned fighter aircraft. And this means there's going to be more limited AI systems making decisions on whether or not to strike targets and in some cases actually harm humans. 
which is pretty controversial. And I know you guys heard me about talking about this before because I did say that limited AI systems could be actually more detrimental and harmful than actual conscious AI systems, which is something to think about. So anyways, let me know what you think about all this. And once again, thanks for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. And make sure to subscribe to my channel.